Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we will be doing the stress test and the performance test of the iQ11. So iQ11 comes with uh, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip and this is a really powerful chip for Android smartphone. Apart from that, you also get UFS 4.0 storage support and LPDDR5X RAM. So it's one of the really great uh, in terms of hardware and uh, uh, we also get the Android 13 on this device. So let's just go to the about phone uh, and uh, let's show you the about uh, phone. So here you can see a 3.2 GHz uh, Snapdragon 8 uh, Gen 2 mobile platform, it's up to 16 gigs of RAM and android 13 and this is the fun touch os uh, along with that you also get the v2 chip uh, for uh, better low light photography as well so let's uh, see the performance test of this device so we'll be using a, a couple of tests one is the cpu throttling test then 3d mark uh, stress test and to do benchmark and geekbench and let's see how good uh, the performance is on this device so let's start with the cpu throttling test so let's start the 20 minute uh, test here and then uh, we'll uh, uh, check uh, the other test let's start with uh, 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 the throttling test of uh, the iQ11 So you can see that now the performance uh, or rather the throttling test is complete and the max value is 356 and the average value is uh, 302 and the minimum is 262 and the CPU throttled to 78 performance percentage of its max performance. So it's not a great performer actually uh, in terms of throttling. This is the case with most of the uh, high-end chip. Uh, the throttling performance might not be that great. You can see it's it's a respectable 78 percentage. It's nothing great actually. So that's the throttling test. Next, let's move on to uh, the wildlife uh, stress test. So continuous stress uh, stress uh, test on this device and let's see how the performance uh, takes a hit uh, or is it really good? Let's go to the wildlife stress test. So the next test is the 3D life, uh, 3D mark uh, wildlife uh, stress test. So this is a 20 minute test uh, which shows how device performs under longer periods for heavy load or stress. So let's start uh, this test and uh, see how the performance is. So now we have the wildlife uh, stress test and you can see here best loop score is uh, 12,660 and the lowest uh, loop score is 7891 and the stability of the device is just 62.3 percentage. So uh, the continuous uh, stress testing you can see that after around uh, seventh round uh, it has uh, come down to uh, around uh, 8000 uh, loop score till that time it was around hovering around the 9000 to 10000 score then it came down so continuous uh, stress test does impact uh, the performance uh, uh, on this device and the stability score is just 62.3 next let's move on to the anti do benchmark score So now we have the score, uh, it's 112,75,773, so that's a score, really good score, uh, One, uh, in fact not 1 lakh, it's 12,75,773, you can see here CPU score, the GPU score, memory score and the UX score, so this is definitely a great uh, device uh, in terms of Antutu score. So uh, almost close to 13 lakh, in fact uh, half a lakh, uh, in fact uh, 25,000 less than 13 lakh but still a really good uh, score, 12 lakh 75,000. And the final test uh, is the Geekbench test. So let's go to the Geekbench test.
So this is the Geekbench score you can see here single core score is 1469 and multi core score is 485 so these are really good scores because it has UFS uh, 4.0 and uh, also uh, a great hardware the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip. So that is the, the benchmark test of uh, the iQ uh, 11. So you can see here it's a really powerful device. Uh, in fact, uh, in terms of throttling, uh, the performance wasn't that great uh, because uh, even the stress test, continuous stress test, uh, uh, the uh, the score or the stability was uh, slightly uh, above 60 percentage. But the anti two score and the Geekbench score was really good. So that was the benchmarking test of the iQ 11. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.